welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited with St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. I'm doing a collaboration with my dear friend Ellen from Ellen's Homemade Delights. Ellen um, hails from Texas and she's a real southern girl. She loves to bake and she loves to make meals that you can make every night or even for special events. Um, Ellen, it's amazing to me. I met her through YouTube and we bonded and became friends through our interest in baking. I was so surprised when I found out she's only 25 years old. She's young enough to be oh, my granddaughter. <laughs> but anyway, trust me, she has more experience um, than a lot of the uh, chefs and bakers that have been uh, doing that much longer than her. We, uh, I guess we can say we um, started to bond when we talked to each other and we found out that uh, very big role models in our lives were our grandmothers. Our grandmothers were great bakers and cooks and we watched them, we observed, and I think they passed down to us their love of baking. So um, today we are both going to make St. Patrick's Day treats. Um, I'm going to put down what Ellen uh, is making in the description box down below. And I'm also going to link Ellen's Homemade Delights. I'm going to link her channel and I'm also going to link uh, the channel for the recipe Ellen is making. And make sure you watch the whole video because hmm, you might see a few pictures of both me and Ellen. So as we say, let's get baking. So let me little move this little leprechaun out of the way and we're going to begin. Today I'm making for you pot of gold, rainbow, uh, cupcakes and treats. There's a little twofer on this recipe, so I think you'll be happy um, when you see how it's done. Now what I did is, um, I started out with a box of classic white cake mix. This isn't the yellow, this is white, because we're going to use coloring in our mix, and we don't want, whoops, we don't want the, um, you know, the yellow in the yellow cake mixes to alter our colors. So I pre-mixed the cake mix as per the box instructions to save time. And what I did is I put some of the white mix into each one of these bowls. Now, a lot of times I will make tie-dyed cakes or cupcakes or I'll make rainbow cakes and cupcakes. And people will say, how did you do that? They think it's difficult. It's really very, very easy. All you have to do is put some of your cake mix in a bowl. Now, my grandson Jake's birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. I can't believe he's gonna be 14. So I doubled the cake mix. Happy birthday, Jake. So I doubled the cake mix because I'm making um, quite a bit of cupcakes. But normally, if you're just making your standard amount of cupcakes, you just need one mix. So I put some of the uh, cake mix in here, and I'm gonna start out with some green coloring. Now I like to use the gel coloring. I think the um, colors come out more vivid, but you can use food coloring if you have it, or some of my coloring um, is the Wilton's um, colored gel. So whatever you have is fine. I'm gonna put a few squirts of this into my white icing and I'm, I'm not icing my cake batter, and I'm just gonna start stirring it until it all turns the color green that I want it to. And I'm gonna continue on with my other colors. Now you can make it um, any colors you want. Today I'm gonna to be using um, green, purple, a yellow, and red, and I forgot. But anyway, I'm using five colors today. I'll show them all to you later. So as you start to mix it, if it's too light, you just add in a little more coloring. 
If it's too dark, you can add a little bit more of the white um, tape batter to it. So this looks to me like a perfect color green. I'll hold it up so you can see it. And I'm going to keep mixing it till it's all incorporated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all the colors off camera and I will be back in a few seconds to show you what they all look like and how we make our rainbow cupcakes. I'm back. Sorry it took me so long, but that crazy leprechaun was chasing me all over the house trying to give me a kiss. But the cameraman rescued him. Right, cameraman? Surely <laughs> did. So anyway, as you can see, I mixed all the coloring into my batter. I just did the colors that I felt like doing. I have green, yellow, pink, purple, and blue. That's turquoise blue, one of my favorite colors. So all you're going to do is layer them in your cupcake paper. Now I purchased gold foil paper liners for my cupcake tray. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this um, silicone liner, cupcake liner, so I can hold it a little better and show you what I'm going to do. It's really very simple. First you're going to start out, I'll start out with my green, using a little teaspoon here, and right in the center of the cupcake paper liner, I'm going to put just a little dollop of the green. Next, I'm going to take my next color, whatever you want that to be, and right on top of the green in the center, you're going to put your next color. So I'm putting some yellow on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with all the other colors. Now, isn't that easy? Putting a little pink on the center. Now, I've done these for my grandsons for different holidays. Fourth of July, I've just done them in um, red and blue, and I left some of the batter white. I made red, white, and blue. It's the same concept if you make a cake, if you want to make a tie-dyed cake. So I'm going to put a little of the purple on top of there. You want to get your cupcake liners oh, about two-thirds full. And now I'm going to put one of my favorite colors, turquoise blue, right on top of there. So, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll try to tilt it a little. It has all the colors in it, and that's what you do. So, um, I'm going to pick up, as you can see, I have a giant <laughs> cupcake pan. I purchased this in Michael's. I love it because I very seldom make less than 24 cupcakes, and it's just easier. You don't have to take the pan in and out of the oven. So I'm going to take my first one, just going to do the same thing. Right in the center, I'm going to put a green dollop. Then I'm going to do the yellow on top of the green. And then I'm going to put my pink. It's pretty easy, right? My purple. And my blue. And I'm going to continue doing this until I have all of my cupcake liners filled. And then I'm going to put them in the oven, let these little babies bake, and I will be right back. Okay, I took the uh, cupcakes out of the oven and I cooled them. And I cut one apart because I wanted to show you um, what these little guys look like inside. And I think they came out beautiful. So I don't know if the cameraman can get a close-up of this or not. He'll do the best he can, but this is what they look like. They look like rainbows, and that's what they're supposed to look like, rainbow cupcakes. And what I did um, after I cooled them is, and I don't know if you can see it in front of me, I'll move it up a little bit. I iced all the cupcakes with the Pillsbury Funfetti Aqua Blue icing. I know that we could um, make our own icing, but I wanted this recipe for St. Patrick's Day to be very baker and user friendly. Uh, you know how I feel about getting your kids off those electronics for a little while and into the kitchen to help you. Um, they'll have fun and it'll create a lot of memories. So this recipe is definitely something you can have the kids do with you. So this is what the cupcakes look like, you know, 
the rainbow cupcakes with the blue icing. I chose blue because I wanted it to look like it was the sky. Um, you can put any color icing you want. So I'm gonna move this tray over with the cupcakes. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I used parchment paper and I lined a cookie sheet with these little uh, pretzels. They sell them in all the stores. They're little squares. I don't know if they're called, I can't remember, waffle pretzels or something of that nature, but you need the little square pretzels like this. I lined them up on my parchment paper. Now comes the fun part where we're gonna make our little pots of gold uh, to put on top of our cupcakes. Now remember in the beginning of the video, I told you this was a twofer. Uh, the reason I said that is I'm making these pot of gold snacks. Now I'm choosing to put them on top of my cupcakes because I think they'll be adorable. But if you want to, you can just make these and serve them as St. Patrick's Day snacks, whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. I put my oven on 250 degrees, that's a low oven. And what I did is I purchased a bag of Rolo candies. The Rolos are the chocolates that come wrapped like this. They have the caramel inside and I unwrapped them. So they look like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one Rolo candy with the indented part on the top and I'm gonna put it towards the corner of each one of these um, square pretzels. So it will look something like this. I know it's hard to see, but it'll look something like this. So I'm gonna put them on there now. And once I get all of the Rolos on there, I'm going to put them in the 250 degree oven for approximately two to three minutes. That's all. Because all you want the Rolo to do is soften a little bit. You don't want it to melt. You want it to soften a little bit so that the chocolate will stick to the pretzel and then we'll be able to do the other part of the pot of gold. So let me get all these Rolos on here. I'm gonna put them in the oven, and as soon as I take them out of the oven, I'll be right back. Okay, I just took these out of the oven. I timed them, um, I left them in there for three minutes. So they're just slightly melted, but not completely melted. The other thing you're gonna need, is you're gonna need a bag of these Airhead Extreme Bites. They sell the Airheads, the long ones too, and you can cut them into little pieces, but these come like this, they're very tiny. They're called Airhead Bites. And you're also gonna need a little gold edible glitter. So what we're gonna do now, it's very easy. Our Rolo is soft, so it's stuck to the pretzel. We're going to take one of our little rainbows, our little um, Airhead Extremes, and I'm going to press, I know you can't see, but I'm gonna hold it up in a minute. I'm gonna press it sideways against the Rolo so it will stick. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the gold edible glitter right inside the indentation of the Rolo. So this is what they're going to look like. They're going to look like little pots of gold. And they're nice, they're sweet and salty. Now, as I mentioned before, you can make these, they're so easy to make, you can make plates of these and just um, serve them as little St. Patrick's Day snacks. Or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna use them as the pot of gold decoration on top of my cupcakes. Aren't they cute? I think they're adorable. So I'm gonna work on a few of these and then I'm gonna get back for the taste testing in a few minutes. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on making our pot of gold uh, cupcakes and treats. 
I have to admit, I think they're absolutely adorable and they're so easy. And as I mentioned earlier, you can put them on the top of your cupcakes and use them as decorations or just make a ton of them and have them as little St. Patrick's Day treats. So if you enjoyed this uh, collaboration that I'm doing with Ellen's Homemade Delights, uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to make comments um, if you'd like to see more of these collaborations. And don't forget, in the description box below my video, I'll have the links to Ellen's channel and her St. Patrick's Day recipe. Um, and don't forget to go visit her. If you're a subscriber of mine, I say thank you. I appreciate you very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe. I love my new subscribers and I have lots more recipes to come. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to leave you with top of the morning to ya. And the rest of the day to yourself, Lassie. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Toodles.